There's no feeling more intense than starting over. If you've broken your scratch project moments after you've shared it, as I have, or you've spent hours working on a project only to notice too late that one of your sprites has unexplainably gone missing. If you've made use of that difficult to name thing of thing block within the sensing category, amazingly useful but capable due to a scratch bug of leaving you crying as it dumps all your scripts in one big and ordered heap. If you've made real progress coding a game over the course of the week, only to come back the next day to discover you weren't what? even logged in. Nothing has been saving. What? Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day at school, then what you're about to go through what? may be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. Oh. I'll be here. Oh. All right. Thanks for coming with me on this trip. I'll understand if you need to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and remember to pause the game by pressing P. On Scratch, you can find loads of remixed or reimagined recreations of existing games. And with good reason. George Bernard Shaw said, Imitation is not just the sincerest form of flattery. It's the sincerest form of learning. This game is a recreation of a game that came out in 2017, titled getting over it with Bennett Foddy. That game in turn was a homage to a free game that came out in 2002. Both games involved dragging yourself, using a hammer up a mountain assembled from assets and objects sourced from many other games. It seems appropriate then that, when trying to recreate getting over it in Scratch, that we should construct our mountain from the same assets used in literally millions of Scratch projects, the unmistakable contents of the Scratch costume library. Oh man, you lost a lot of progress. Whoops, oh dear. Oh no, not again. Pick yourself up, brush yourself off. Back up you go. Gosh, 
here we are again. Unlike Unity or Unreal, Scratch does not provide you with a built-in physics or 3D rendering engine. It has no state-of-the-art debugger, you can't even pause your scripts, 